to say, okay, guys, so I'm going to meet the Baba Lola today. If you do, and you can still do it. Let me come. I out. talk, talk, finish. Did you not show? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. So I'm with the beautiful D Baba Lola. Beautiful. Yes, before <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? And I know you guys already know her because, uh, like, I was checking your subscriber count and it was it's 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 high. It's, it's I'm, proud high. Of, I'm proud of you, serious. Thank you. Um, excuse you. Yes, it's I'm it's proud Deca of here that is like blowing up right now. Uh, like your your amen. views, your watch that your subscriber is just. I'm trying to, you know, we're inspiring to reach our level. No, so you, know. you can check, check my other things. Do it yourself. Oh, hi. Well, this Tell is not about the first you. time on yeah. our channel, so yeah, we you guys already know time. me. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited to do another video with Madame here. This is the first time we're seeing this year. Yes. Can you imagine? This is the we're seeing in a long time. Not just this year. Yeah. I think the last time we saw was at the tidbit from a mom event, which was in like April. And Jesus, are you serious? Almost a year, shame on him. Hey, he's how, guys. That's why she will not yeah, travel. Uh, I'm sorry. So, today we're going to be doing something different. Um, there's this conversation on Instagram right now talking about um, what's the topic again? Um, I can't remember the words that many many marriages don't All survive because yeah. of 90 percent of the marriages survive because people marry for love for love and not those that are ready right and someone actually sent me a message i was like i should talk about it and that's what we're doing today i was like let me do something different let me talk about it with a married woman with me, me. That's yeah me. <laughs> <laughs> you know and i didn't i want to talk about it by myself but i was like let me have another person's opinion you know my, because me, i'm very very opinionated i wanted i want somebody else to also calm me down because when yeah. I start having opinion, nothing where you want. Like I feel that's how it is. <laughs> that, okay. So yeah. But what if we have the same opinion? It's well, it's, it's still it's fine if we have the same opinion. Yeah. That means what we're saying makes same. yes yeah. makes sense, you know. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I wanted to ask you, D. Yes, baby. What do you think? Do you think love is important or love somebody that is ready? What do you think? I think it's a mixture of both. I don't think you can. There's so, so many things that happen in this life that I don't think you can ever be fully ready for, and there isn't an age for being ready like you can't be fully ready for anything even when you you're pregnant you can say oh i'm ready but like how ready are you really when yeah. the child comes yeah. so i feel like it's a mixture of both there has to be love and you have to have done things to make sure you are ready to go into whatever marriage throws into you to you so there has to be love there okay. like you can't disregard that you need love okay. in a marriage or that the fact that you need to be ready i don't think it's one over the other okay Okay. Or what do you think? But there's this idea that people have. <clears throat> Let me clear my trip because I'm about to be angry. Hey! That guy's about to give them dish dish. <laughs> there's this idea that people have that really um, makes me feel very uncomfortable. Okay. When people say love is not enough for marriage, do you think love is like. Do you think you need any other thing for a marriage to work? Yes. Like what? <clears throat> I feel like I know where you're coming from. Okay. I feel like I, I think we've had that conversation yes. before. I think I get what you mean because. <laughs> For you to be able to say that <laughs> I love you, there are certain criteria that like love encompasses. Do you get what I mean? So the able the, the ability to like communicate. Yeah. If you love someone, you should be able to talk to them freely. Be able to re the ability to respect them. If you love someone, you have to respect them. But I feel like we live in an age where people are separating it. That it's easy for me to friendship. Say, yeah, it's easy for me to say I love you and not do everything that, that thing, yeah, invo that comes with love. Yeah. So that's why you now have to stress it to people that love is not enough because people see love. It's love. People take it so fickle now. Okay. Like love doesn't mean the same as what it meant back then. Okay. Do you know okay. They don't take it. Thing. They don't okay. take it as serious. Like if I open my mouth to say, oh my gosh, I love you. There are certain things that. 
been saying that I should be able to do because I've said I love you. But because of the way we live now, people that don't even know each other can throw love, like yeah. love, love. And there are different kinds of love as well. So I can say I love you, but then I'm not doing what it requires to love that person. So that's why now you have to tell them, okay, yes, I love you. But then in with that love, I, there has to be respect. There has to be communication. There has to be so many other different things. Okay. Do you get what I mean? Now I'm getting where you're coming from. Yeah. But I feel like most people that say this thing, you're saying that like most people that tell you love is not enough they just they mean it like literally like love is something else yeah. friendship is something else yeah um um what what else do they, they, oh, they say so many things you have to have a good friendship you have to understand each other you have to you know and I, and it always makes me wonder because and i now wonder what love is actually what people define uh, as love yeah. because to me love is everything you're mentioning Men yes that's how i feel yeah. so when people tell me ah, love is not enough for oh, love is not enough, uh, it makes me like confused really and when somebody now says you need to marry someone that is ready like like you said ready is relative like yeah. you cannot even be ready can never be ready <laughs> you can like, never like life people, when people see me they tell me um that I have, your kids are getting older why not i have more like yeah. and i tell them i'm not ready yeah. i'm not ready i'm not ready and they'll be like ah, ah, what do you mean by you're not ready mm. you what still i mean i know say i was still born yes but like in as much as as I will still have more kids, I'm not ready to have more kids. But I will have kids, whether I like yeah, it or not. Exactly. You let so this thing of you marry someone that is ready and not ready and love everything should. I feel like everything you should, should join join together. Yeah. Marry someone that is ready. Mm -hmm. and loves you yes guys because the, the funny thing <laughs> is um Jekka, you know the funny thing yeah a guy might not be ready for you will be ready, ready for, for somebody else. else boom like this is real talk that's it it's not even so, jokes that, and i feel like eh, if you don't marry someone that you love mm. the way we are defining love or not that that's their type <laughs> not that their type <laughs> that comes that without friendship and respect and yeah. you know they separate it eh? when you ma don't marry for love the, like you will go through a lot in marriage yeah marriage is already hard enough mm -hmm. you not marry someone that you don't love except maybe you planned you know some people still plan their life mm -hmm. i'm not going to marry somebody i love it's yeah. married for money. for money like i've heard yeah, people say many different my, i've heard people say my husband can be beating well. me i don't care so yeah, far he's, he's giving me giving money. me money you know yeah. and that's fine if you're okay with that but if you say in your life you want to be happy you mm -hmm. want to be have peace of mind because peace of mind is very important. Yeah. Please marry someone that you love. Mm -hmm. Love in the proper way, the way Christ, Christ loves the church. Yes. yes. Yeah. You know, I was reading something on um, I think either the Lokeke or or Adese Space comments. And one lady was talking about that. You know, the Bible, even in the Bible, he said that you should um love your wife. A man should love his wife mm -hmm. as Christ loves the church. Yeah. And she was explaining that how her pastor actually explained it and said the way Christ loved the church. He came down from heaven. Yep. Yes. He suffered everything we, the church did yep. to him. He still died for us and yep. still forgave us. Yeah. That is how a man should love his wife. He did not I did not say separate, did not say respect her, but don't love, love her. her. Yeah. You know, it's not people that are cheating marriage, it's men. They'll tell you they respect their wives. I respect her, so I don't bring you home. Yeah, exactly. And they feel like it's okay you know yeah. to do that and people always when they don't start making the comment like ah you need to marry because he, 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 you need to marry because he's ready not necessarily because he loves you or you're you're not i don't no, even know that's, that's, that's a bit like that's a bit dumb. you're putting yourself <laughs> into a situation where, where it's unnecessary like it's unnecessary yeah and you're putting your kids into a bad situation because mm -hmm. your kids are going to be seeing all these things where your parents don't send each other i've seen marriages where people don't send each other ah, yeah. where's your husband i don't know yeah ah, he went out i don't care i don't even want my husband to be around i'm just married let it be that i'm married i feel like that's what marrying someone that is ready causes in that way, way people are saying yeah, it yeah. but if you marry someone that is ready and loves you like it will make things so much easier, easier. nobody's saying that it's going to be perfect but then is it possible to respect your spouse and not love them yeah I think so what now happens with marriages that like that that there's no love there they just respect but they just other. respect they, they just respect each other of they, they 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 communicate they understand each, each other, other yes but there's no love yes because they're different there's a difference yes because people marry for reasons d mm. people actually marry for people don't marry right. for love necessarily okay. people marry because maybe my wife is working she's a working class girl my husband has money my husband can knock mm. 
I'm sorry okay, for using yeah. those kind of words. <laughs> it's right. People actually marry because of that. Yeah. Because of sex. Like, yeah, yeah. the guy is sabi, you know. Give it to me. And all that. And so they don't marry. They just like, like, respect the In any way the guy they do, they don't care. So far, he's coming home and giving it to me. Okay, I'm fine with it. And they understand it that way. Yeah. You know, some people even actually have real conversation. They'll be like, like, let's just marry you know um, yeah <clears throat> because of the benefits i see you you're very smart so our kids are going you know there's something i used to watch on tv where somebody will say maybe they want to get a sperm donor they will not check the person's history yeah, and yeah, that the yeah. Is this, yeah this, this, like what, this. what school they went to yeah. all their yeah. characteristics people and actually quality. people actually do it yeah. and people actually it's like open marriages now yeah. i even prefer that than to tell me marry like in that way the way people are saying i would prefer for you to say in an open marriage, I'm free or free. Than to tell yeah. me, marry someone that is ready. And what are people going to be doing? I said, what do you mean by ready? ready I yeah. actually like just ready. What do you mean by that? That's so, so what they're saying is, marry somebody that is ready, but they don't necessarily love love you, you. so that your marriage will be okay. Because when a man is not ready to marry, he will not love you the way you want to be loved. That kind of thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> also, people also need to understand the fact that love has different seasons as well. Yeah. Like, love changes, love grows, love can develop. Yes. But I don't think in the scenario where you're marrying somebody that is ready and doesn't love you, the guy cannot wake up one day and say he loves you. He loves you. A guy that is ready for marriage will not do every will, will not do everything will do everything for the marriage but nothing for your relationship yeah because he's just ready to get married, married. that's what i'm but saying he doesn't, he doesn't care, love, about, he doesn't care you. about you he's so just the marriage could literally be anybody he can people can buy houses together have kids yeah. together but yeah. that no special place is supposed to hold you like it's not it, it's not there there's nothing there yeah like i really like see uh, dear whenever people say this love marriage thing eh, the thing they tire me i've been married for <laughs> this year will make me eight years wow. and hey. to an extent i've Gosh. seen Gosh. <laughs> i don't oh, have eight years, <laughs> eight years. wow eight years. Guys. i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm not saying i'm perfect my marriage is perfect yeah. we all know nobody's marriage is perfect, perfect you know yeah. but marriage is what you make of it okay, and exactly. and i feel like so many people just bring in so many negativity when it comes to marriage like serious negativity d like you see somebody that will be telling you um don't do this for your husband don't love him more than he loves you yeah to me, that one like, i don't understand don't like, don't buy for him don't show him yeah. Don't show him love. You well, know. you know. Let me let me say something. Ah, ah, that's sweet. It's better. That's fine. Well, should I say something? Okay. I also feel that the way men and women love is kind of different as well. Okay. And I, I I vividly remember one of my aunties actually telling me that marry someone that loves you more okay than you love them okay and i always used to wonder like how, how do does you love somebody more yeah, than like, person loves you what do you do yeah more? like how what's the killing and it wasn't mates. until i got older that i realized okay. that men actually love differently to women okay if, if a woman loves you okay eh, it's a whole like different ball game like a woman will okay. hold you high up but with men, I think because it takes a while for men to mature and they mature at a different weight to women. Okay. When a man a man that fully loves you, like it's like it's not it's not balance. It's not balanced. The way a woman mm -hmm. loves, it's like here. But when a man loves you, it's like here. So technically he loves you more. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. Do you get what I mean? Like if a man if a man can come out and differently, say, that makes you that's what I do I, I really yeah. want to understand that. What does it mean? Like is it that he will do more things for you or what? Or he can die for you and a woman cannot die for you. <laughs> 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 like, I don't think it's that. I don't. I'm trying to. Let me see if I have a way to explain it. I get what you're saying. That it has to be on the same. Has to be on the same people level. People say like, love and to an extent, I want to understand. I understand it, yeah. but I. I don't really. I can't explain it. So I want someone to help. If me. a man loves you more, okay, eh, it's almost as if like there's certain more things he would do for, for you. you. Okay, yeah, because because he just he loves you like they, he will carry you on a higher pedestal he will you are his world you are his let's, let's make it all cliche and stuff you are his world and all that okay but a woman yeah she already loves you 
regardless but then with men there are like different stages of the love i don't know if i'm making sense guys i've confused myself <laughs> I confused myself. I confused myself. Don't worry, you. But not. I get what you're saying. No, I get okay. it. I just want to but, understand. Yeah. But I just really hate when people put all these um, levels to love and all that. Mm. You know, love if, you, love. if you have a reason why you want to marry a man, marry a man for that reason. Don't come and be giving me advice on love more. Don't love more. Yeah. <laughs> If I scatter your car, if I scatter your car, <laughs> if I scatter yeah. your car. Do you understand what I mean? I feel like that's why people And also, are, like, we're also talking more to the men. Yeah. It's not even about just women. Mm. We're not talking just for women. Men, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're you talking know, to, to everybody, sexes. you know? Yeah. I feel like, don't be putting labels. You see people that will tell you, I can't do this for my husband. If I do it, he's going to look at me in this way. He's going to not love me again. You know, people just what make kind of things. I don't know, but people make all these funny comments. I don't say you don't do this, don't be overly this. Yeah. Don't be I feel like it's Yeah, oh and one that I yeah, I understand what you're saying. One that they some of them say is that like no as a woman don't show that you love your man, man too, too much. much. Because it would that it would give him excuse to like but that's nonsense. Love your man, do it on your man. And as men as well, love your wife. Don't hold I feel like people hold a lot of things back when they get married. Yeah. And that's coupled with the fact that you haven't married your friend. Your friend. Do you get what I mean? So okay, you now that, that friend thing comes. So yes. you think um if you marry what do you mean by friend? If you love someone, let me tell you something. Okay, yes. please. Hey. Hey. This is no guys, like I'm not trying just, to act yeah, dumb. No. I just want to understand. <laughs> because people always say this friend friend, friend. thing. I I personally or I believe in marrying your friend. Do like people, you, do you, can you love somebody and the person will not be your friend? Like in that marriage yeah, way. In, no, you can't. But the way you relate to each other will be different. Okay. Do you get you might not like see for example, say me and you, like the way we are friends now, I am playful with you, yeah. I can laugh with you, we can go out, we can we can joke. But then okay. there's some and I love and but then there are some people that don't know how to do all that. Okay. Yeah, because they didn't build that friendship first. I feel like for you to get to love, you have to have friendship. Okay. For you for me to be able to be in a relationship with you, there has to be friendship first. There's like your ships are stages. Your friendship, then that develops into a relationship, friendship. that develops to marriage. Do you yes. get what I mean? So you think so people marry like people without jump having steps. okay they okay they, they jump skip, that they jump steps that, yeah you, you know another thing too you know because of this our Nigerian African mentality yeah. of wanting to marry you know they hide a lot of things I was things, telling somebody yes, yeah. I mean, where I buy my clothes I was talking to the lady we we're just having this marriage conversation I was telling her that when I got married to my husband there were a lot of things I used to do I never stopped because of my husband exactly. I never did and he he's the, the people my husband had dated before me were not like me yes. They were maybe let me use the word reserved. And when he met me, I was you know this merry go girl, yeah. very playful, jolly, and, and that's part of, that's he married me for that for that you know. Yeah. So I I feel really, change on I feel that, I feel that's where the problem make. comes yeah. where women change because of their husband and well, that's why now because it's now a marriage marriage they change. change. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I can't go out. You see some married men see you going out. Tell you, ah, yeah. well, you're going well, out. You're going to I, club. Mm -hmm. You're dressing this way. Yeah. Like. Really, <laughs> you know, and people. I feel like people look at people's marriages through their own lens. Yes, you don't know what's what's going on behind closed doors. Not even behind closed okay. doors. Like what works for them, what works yeah. for you, not might not necessarily work for me. Why do you feel like because I'm now a married woman? No, I think me and me, and my husband, we used to love going partying. We used to love going mm -hmm. clubbing before we got married. So after we got married, what now happens? What I'm married woman. The you things we love, we shouldn't do, do anymore. anymore. And well, that's why marriage, is, yeah, and that's why marriages break because you now want to switch up on a guy. Like yeah. you want to do a whole one eighty on a guy, and he's left questioning. Like maybe before you were in a relationship, you know, you need to you used to walk around the house, you know, it's all sexy and all of that. You get married and you stop doing that. That's yeah. all the changes that happen. That like you are now wondering. Ah, the guy is left wondering. Like this is not the same person I married, and that's a lot. That's the conversation people always have. That marriage changes things. I don't think marriage changes things. It's I feel like that people, change that people that change marriage. Yeah, yeah. they've made marriage. But there are some thing. husbands that are difficult that. They they will marry and when they're not married they'll tell you no you can't wear this anymore yeah, no, you, can't do, yeah you can't do this anymore then another yeah. that i feel like it's like it's like it's like it's like that you give that person that person yes. is and follow you for <laughs> I like that. But I'm following. sorry yeah okay i feel like a guy that is like that you would have seen the signs 
I'm sorry. Right? You would have seen the signs. Right? Like, a guy cannot just switch up on you like that. He, might, he would have made comments here and there. But because you are, oh my God, I this guy, you, don't, you don't see, you don't, like, I'm the kind of person, I don't know maybe it's because of the kind of person I am. I pick up on very little things. Like, the littlest thing, I pick up on it. So little comments here and there, I'm, a, I'm able to decipher it. Okay. So like, I feel like there is always signs there. Like, a guy cannot suddenly, you know, you're in a relationship, he loved you, and then all of a sudden you get in the marriage, starts beating you. There would have been signs. Yeah. Even if he didn't beat you in yeah. the marriage, in, in, in the dating, he would have you would have been doing small, 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 small thing, making small comments here, and like, you know. So, like, you would have seen the signs. So, for a guy that maybe you would have had scenarios where you would have gone out, and maybe there was a married woman there, and they would have made a small comment, comment like, ah, see what she's, she's wearing. wearing. Yeah. And you, you look at yourself and be like, oh, I'm wearing saying, the same thing, but he did say it's fine yeah, because so, I'm his wife. Because I'm exactly, I'm, I'm wife, so. Yeah, so it would, but if a guy like a man that slaps women outside, but he doesn't slap, like maybe when you were dating the guy, the guy has slapped a woman in front of you, but he has never. Slaps. Would you say that he doesn't be swimming? That's the, that, and that's the mistake. Because the one day he will forget that you are his wife, and he will raise his he hand. See you as a woman. So if you are slap, if in yeah. your own state, you can see your man slap another woman and not question it. Then you you are using your two legs to enter into into the fire. Because one day he will slap you. Yeah. He will slap you. Yeah. So I just feel like people should just be real. <laughs> people should just be real with themselves. Mm -hmm. Like. Except you have a reason, Sha. Yeah. If you have a reason, Sha, like you plan in your life, like I've said it before, if you plan in your life, I want to marry because of this man has money, yeah. or this man's family is rich, yeah. or this man will give me kids that are smart, or this man, you fine. know, it's fine. <laughs> That's fine. But yeah. don't come and preach rubbish and tell me love is not enough. That's yeah. my own. Yeah. If you come, with, if you marry because a man is this, if, or maybe the man's sex is too sweet, don't come and preach rubbish. Yeah. But if you go genuinely to a marriage, and you like know, to thank God, then the I tell people that like my close friends, I'll be like, I think I didn't marry all that like my age yeah. now yeah. because maybe I don't know how I would have reacted to marriage. You know, I married when I didn't plan to marry, so I was even doing shakara, like doing mm, please, like I don't. It's not, it wasn't even sweeting me. I wasn't excited. Let me know. You know, I, I wasn't excited per se, but well, it's not it in the way that choking you, like, like the way that you're not be saying, I, I'm a married woman, I'm a married, you yeah. know, I, I, yeah, you know. So yeah. maybe that's why I have this mentality. If you want to marry, please marry well, marry for yeah. love. Yeah, yeah. If you know you cannot cope because this man, mm -hmm. the end lawyer, yeah. <laughs> like, oh. and the, I feel like also <sighs> there is this thing, there's this pressure that a lot of people get where like because of pressure from all sides all angles that's why they now start putting condition to the to their reasons for marrying they're tired of the pressure and the, what i always say to a lot of like a few of my friends that are single that are like they are like almost in a rush to get married yeah. i always tell them i always always say that like look it's better to to wait for for the right person than to spend the rest of your life miserable so don't don't rush it let it come naturally find the person that you love find the person that you can build with like one of the greatest things about being married is having someone to do life with yeah. so if you're going to marry for the sake get married for the sake of getting married and you can't do life without that without that person your marriage is technically pointless you're just yeah. in it for the sake of being in it mm -hmm. so when when you do decide to get married make sure it's for the right reasons yes not necessarily being ready it's for, for the, the right, right reasons reason. for you for you if you're all right yeah, reason is to exact to enjoy ego that's enjoy. on you but for for right reasons but for don't yourself. come advise us rubbish <laughs> that's <laughs> Deca See, is angry he really you guys advise me let me pack Deca. because I really need to you pack for this one Deca. no D, no this is not even offending but it's, I, I I get really annoyed you hear people yeah. I, I hear guys that tell you I want to marry a working class girl I got married when I was in school so you know I heard it around me like it was almost like they were even advising my husband like now wow you get married though you go pay school fees that yeah, you know, <laughs> and then this same guy is married, and now come and start complaining. You still see those same guys that will come to my husband and say, Hey, you're lucky. Mm. That's what they actually say, Same. You're lucky. But when you were advising, marry somebody that is working class, that you will not give money to make hair, yeah. that you will not buy pants for. Like, I'm not saying, no, nobody's saying you should be jobless. This video is not joblessness. <laughs> I know people are going to say, So you're saying 
No, I'm not saying you should marry only women that are in school. That's not the point. The point is, when you're marrying for a reason, stick with it and die with it. So far, don't advise us rubbish. Yeah. Let us that married for love. love. Enjoy right. it and tell you that, that you know when you're doing videos, tell us that ah, you marry for this is why to buy I don't car, marry. yeah, so that you will be enjoying car. Like somebody has told me before that if you want to cry on a Range Rover than to than to be happy on an Akada. Wow, priorities, man. Yeah. You know what? That's that, that's that person's reality. Yeah. So and, and she you, doesn't ever complain about yeah. marriage in that. I've never really yeah. heard her complain about marriage in that way because she's actually she enjoying. Knows why she got she's actually enjoying her herself. Because she, you know, she went into it for her own mm, kidney with her own you way. Know, so that's just my point. You yeah. know, that's the point of this video. Uh, you know, the same part saying ninety percent, hundred percent. Please marry for love and readiness, and you can never even be ready. But you you can be sure so you, you can know. love. Yes, you can be oh. sure that you love somebody, somebody but yeah. you can never ever be, be ready. ready. Don't say that. Oh, uh, because I'm not ready, I don't want to marry. You. Yeah. yeah. But wait, because this readiness is it, what it like, depends what on is, what what makes what makes you ready. Yeah, maybe maybe you know Nigerian mentality of yeah. having money. money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You maybe you're school. tired of clubbing you are. too much. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Because they attach okay, social okay, life yeah. to yeah somebody that I'm not saying people shouldn't overdo some things in life naturally. It's not even about marriage. And marriage should even reduce some things. But people affiliate you know clubbing. Once a man is still going out every time, every time, every time, every time, he's not ready to marry. Married. Oh, to be married. Okay. You no. Know? Okay. So there's so many things attached to this. Being ready, yeah, you know, somebody that's not financially but what ready. About, what now in, in scenarios where the guy gets married and he's still going out, going out, going out? Does that mean he wasn't get ready to get married, no. or he just enjoys going out? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> D, you're, you're the best person for this video, seriously, because I like people that think that way. Me, please, baby, don't even be going out every time, every time, every, every time. time. <laughs> I get what you mean. Yeah. There's some people that actually like, go up, want to go out, go out every because time. Because they enjoy time. that. They enjoy That's it. their... Dream. And if you marry a guy that was going out... Why would you date a guy that was going out, going, going out? out. You if you're uncomfortable, you saw yeah, if you're uncomfortable with it, yeah. don't marry him. Don't bro. marry him. Exactly. Because he will still be going not, out. Don't... And then someone once said to me that something that a guy used to do now, like as he gets older, not necessarily marriage, as he gets mm. older, it's either going to stay the same oh. or it will reduce. Yes. So don't expect that... A guy that goes out, goes out, goes out, mm. yeah, will suddenly turn around and say, I'm not going out anymore. Yeah. Like, they they can't just, they, they might, they, they could, they might, but it's, it's not, it's, don't it's put not it in your mind, in your that, mind that this guy will stop work. doing it. Do you get what I mean? So, if, if a guy enjoys it, and when you were dating, that was what he likes, then you get married. Don't yeah, now turn you around and say, it, oh. and say that, oh, <laughs> um, he's still going out, and you're now crying and lamenting. I'm sorry, oh, I'm so, I'm personally, that's how you it's found just like, it. It's just so, like me now, in my own situation, I I used, to, I used to love makeup a lot. I've even cooled down on my own, you know. I've married for eight years and just recently yeah. I started cooling down on my makeup. Yeah. Before I could not go out with that makeup, even markets. Yeah. yeah. You know, my husband at first he was like, now wow, like every time, every time. But the guy got to understand, he had to understand that, that was how I am. Mm -hmm. And you know, on my own now, because of I'm getting older and I want my skin to be refreshed. Yes. I'm stopping it. Not it's as much. Not, yeah. yeah, but not because. I'm, I put him into consideration too, but not so mainly because, of, because him. of him. Yeah. Do you understand? So I just yeah. feel like everything we're just saying, guys, is just for you to just marry how it works for you. Mm. Don't come and be giving us statistics and mm. advising us rubbish and telling us love is not enough. The way they explained it, I understand it, but I feel like not everybody understands it that way. Well, they yeah. just say it as if love is love another is thing. One thing. And friendship yeah. and wisdom yeah. and understanding and everything. Baptism is another thing. Like, <laughs> wow. seriously they separate it you yeah. know so i just feel like we should just yeah. please if you're love, not married love the right love is enough is enough yeah because it's everything it's everything like you cannot turn around and say god loved the church oh but he didn't respect the church, the church. he loved the church and in him loving See, the church you're giving it to me the way i like it like <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. Everything was there. Yeah. So like yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So we're going to go and do this video. Yes. Like has yeah. going to be really really fun. It's something <laughs> so different. Was a bit serious, you know. Yeah. Just, so we're going we're to just, just go, yeah. We just wanted to you know lighten the mood. This yeah. topic was very important. Yes. It's, it's, important very, to talk it's about very it's it. very important to talk about it. And, and young people like us talk about yes. it because it's not only elders. That it's not only elders. I feel, like I feel like there's so much we can learn from elderly elders people. Too, but there are time. But but also. I feel like the yeah. way we reason Within, sometimes we see elder changed. people like yeah old so I don't want to yeah. listen to what you have to say so it's always nice when you hear it from people that are like on your same on the same level, level as you yeah. you know doing things that you want to do as well see how they are doing it how you know they they are making it work so yeah. you can learn and, and we're not saying that we're perfect or nope. we know everything hmm. if only or, you guys you know, know. yeah because so you guys are the we so boss <laughs> The but we the boss. I, I don't boss but I'm a gentle girl. But like you know, it's it's always good to see. Yeah. You don't see me. <laughs> you know, I'm a gentle. I don't know about you, girl. I don't know about you. But me, I'm a gentle girl. Yes. Um. So yeah, it's just about seeing what works for you taking advice from different people like i'm not saying don't li don't listen to people or don't take advice like yeah. you're watching this video you're taking advice but i always say take everything with a pinch of salt yeah. like whatever anyone says to you feel go, go filter it and apply it to yourself and it's even the same with church yeah. whatever your pastor preaches on the pulpit is not Exactly. golden it's not yeah. standard it's not what it take it and then discern and see how it applies to you as an individual and as a person so yeah that's my guys mind. that's my are you guys feeling her see the way she said take it and then discern see this one is so sweet wow Wow. <laughs> I hope you guys actually I hope you guys myself. actually enjoyed this video. Like we really had fun yeah, doing I it. Did. Even though we're forming serious, we really had fun. And I miss D so much. Oh, like my babes. Hey. We're back now. We're back. No worry. Thank God we live near each other now. So no. we're going to be like I'll just be branching. <laughs> when I'm tired, I'll just come, branching. Come, like, come, you know. Come. Um don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Don't forget to give us big thumbs up. Don't yes. forget to go to her own channel. I'm going to leave her own video in the description box. So you guys can go watch and tell us what you think and don't forget to just show us love subscribe yes, subscribe you guys to the channel come, like, comment my, everything like, share let people know get the conversation started. we love you guys so much love you until our next video it was nice meeting Decca subscribers bye <laughs>